Hey everybody, I want to show you a, a real quick behind the scenes. So this is one of our suppliers that makes a lot of the parts that go into, uh, God, almost everything we make. For example, this right here is a piece of laser cut aluminum that goes on the Owl Solo bumper. You might recognize this part, unpowder coated. These bolt to the front. And talk about the machinery that we use to make this stuff. This is a laser. I don't even know the kilowatts. I'll have to ask what the actual kilowatt it is. But this is a, a nesting sheet. So the way this works, this software takes a flat sheet of aluminum. Um, in this case, I want to say it's like 10 by 4. And a computer program decides to nest all those little plates on here and use the least amount of drop or uh, kind of unused material. And the cool thing is this laser is crazy fast. So this entire sheet with all these little cuts is gonna take about two and a half hours uh, to cut. So that machine, so now what it's doing, it just came in, it's cleaning its tip and then it recenters the tip to make sure that everything is perfect and to spec. And then it's gonna go back to cutting those sheets. Yep, so now it's going back to cutting another part of the bumper. So that's a pretty cool piece of equipment, obviously not inexpensive. And then right here is a uh, computer control press brake. And the way this works is it actually is what allows you to take a part that's flat and bend it into shape. So you've got the tooling. In this case, you've got a kind of Y or a grooved tooling. And then this part comes down and presses the part into that bottom part or a, a piece of tooling goes on there. And that's how you end up with 90 degree bends or 30 degree bends or whatever it is you're looking for. So that's a bit of a behind the scenes glimpse of uh, how stuff comes together before it arrives at OWL for final welding and uh, finishing. Like this, for example, is a, this is a solo bumper. So this part becomes a solo bumper. Pretty cool, huh? We just have that flat sheet of aluminum and then it goes into there after it's laser cut and becomes a solo bumper. Uh, anyway, I thought that was cool. I thought I'd show it to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>